Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi. My name is Busari Molayo and I'm a registered nurse based in Nigeria. On this channel, I film about nursing and healthcare and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you what to do if you ever witness an asthma attack. guys before we move on please click on the subscribe button if you are new here to join the youtube family and also on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i drop another video like this so to start with what exactly is an asthma attack now an asthma attack is the name given to a situation that occurs in people with a condition known as bronchial asthma now let me bring all that together now bronchial asthma is a condition or a disease condition of the respiratory system and in an asthma attack what actually happens is that the bronchi swells up leaving very little passage for air what it actually means the bronchi are like the tubes that carry air down from your nose now from your nose there's a structure called the trachea and from the trachea to the bronchi which are like smaller tubes when compared to the trachea and they take air directly to the lungs now in bronchial asthma this bronchi that takes air into the lungs swells up and there is little space for air to pass through I hope you get the picture now. So when a person has bronchial asthma, it becomes difficult to breathe and they may not be able to take care of their self if it is a very severe attack. So if you were in a situation where you witnessed someone that had an asthma attack or a situation where you are the only person there with the person that is currently having the attack, what then should you do? There are important things for you to know before you can even handle a patient that has asthma attack which are the signs that you would see if a person is currently having an attack. Number one is difficulty in breathing and speaking. Number two, they may have wheezing breath. Wheezing breath refers to the sound that your breath makes. It makes a wheezing sound like... <gasps> I hope you get what I'm trying to describe. That's how their breath actually sounds when they are having an asthma attack. Number three, they begin to cough, they are anxious, they sweat, and they may have bluish discoloration at their lips and their fingers. Now, these are signs that you would notice in someone that obviously has an asthma attack. So, the first thing you should do is to place the person in a sitting up position you help them to sit up now this would imitate what is called the fowler's position and the rationale behind this is that they would it would help the diaphragm to relax and it might actually relieve the chest tightness that they are feeling you can remove any tight clothing that is around their thorax next thing is that you reassure the patient and try to calm the person down tell them you're here and that you're going to help because at that point they are anxious and they are really really scared next thing is to ask if they have their inhaler with them if the patient has the inhaler you go further to help the person use the inhaler but if it is a situation where the person doesn't have the inhaler, the next thing for you to do is to call an emergency number. Now, if you're in Nigeria, the emergency number is 112. So if you're calling the emergency number, you have to indicate where the person is, what is currently happening, and how severe the condition is. But in a situation where the person has the inhaler presence, you help them to use the inhaler and tell them to breathe in and slowly so they breathe in deeply and slowly you try as much as possible to help them calm down you keep reassuring them then you keep checking their response if you're trying to speak to the patient the patient is not really responding the patient is not responding to stimuli then it might be severe and you have to also call an emergency number so that is it guys don't forget what i said you have to put them in a sitting up position you have to remove the tight clothing around clothing rather around their chest you have to reassure them help them use their inhaler and if the inhaler is not available you call an emergency number and i said emergency number in nigeria is one one two and if you can get uh and if sorry they had their inhaler you help them to use the inhaler and if they are still not responding then you also have to call an emergency number thank you very much if you like this video give it a like comment down below and tell me what you think about an asthma attack and i'll see you in my next video bye